Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, wanted to do a short video for all of you guys saying, hey, do a video on um, the pricing. And so, um, now I can't show you because I don't have a machine set up at the moment, but I am just going to kind of talk about a couple things and you guys can kind of set these for yourself. So when it usually will come up, it will usually say, um, you always want to set your minimum GPUs to one, um, unless you like know what you're doing or you have a reason that you need to rent multiple GPUs at once. Some people do, some people don't. So I'm just trying to adjust my mic here. So um, basically, you're gonna do that, okay? And you want to make sure that um, you set that to one. And then you're gonna have stuff like I can't show it on my screen, unfortunately. But you're going to have stuff like, oh, you know, uh, it'll say like uh, GPUs, it'll be like, it'll want you to set a price. Okay, and we'll talk about that here in a second. And then it'll say like network, I usually set to 0.1, so 0.1, um, so they don't throttle your internet, because they will, um, for your network. And then you want to set your, your drives to something, whether it's 0 0.05 or 0.1. Um, or 0 0.02 or 0 0.01, just something for using your drives so they're not beating the shit out of your, your NVMe drives or your uh, drives you have in the computer. So, back to the GPU side of things. Now here's where we get into it. So, and there might be some other things on there now because I know Vast has updated their stuff, but that's kind of what I remember um, from the menu. And I can't show you the menu. Maybe later down the road I can plug in my other machine again and, and give you show you guys the menu and kind of talk about it but for now I just wanted to do a quick video for all the people who keep messaging me saying hey do a video on uh, pricing and all that so let's say you have you know most people ain't gonna have data center stuff here so let's uncheck that let's go to 50 series actually let's go to 40 series and let's go to 4090 okay so usually here's what you want to do so with new people you always want to check this unverified box new people your new machines aren't going to be verified you're going to want to and this is later down the road so you'll have a little more experience and then you want to kind of put your host reliability probably at 90 percent so if you look here we're going to do um increase or uh, yes so here we go so you can see here the cheapest 4090 that we can rent on planet Earth, <laughs> which is funny, is 10 cents an hour. Okay. Now that's the whole machine, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it's the entire machine. We're not just running the one 4090. Um, but you can see here this machine has a 5900X, it's a 12 core, tough gaming motherboard, um, probably just a gaming computer, right? So let's say you have the same kind of concept. Let's say you have 14090 and you want to set it to rent. You're going to want to be around this 10 cent range or this 13 cent range. This guy's a bit low for a 4090, I feel like. Um, that's quite low. That's like, I mean, I feel like that's quite low. So I would probably set your stuff to like 13 cents. So when you go into that menu, if it's still the same from what it was before, you're going to actually find a spot there where you're going to put in that your amount for your NVMe or whatever drives, and then you're going to put in your amount for your network. Make sure when you, you uh, finish that, that you're not setting just the GPU to like 10, 12, 13, 14 cents. You need to take into account that those other things that you need them to pay for go into it. So if they're paying 10 cents for your network um, and you know uh, 10 cents for your you know NVMe, there's 20 cents right there. So make sure that you watch that. And um, I actually don't remember what I used to set it to. It might have been 0 0.05 or something like that, or just something for the network in general and the drive because it needs to be set to something. But you can kind of mess and play around with that. And then, but you need to check the market. The market is what's, if your machine is a big machine, it's verified, you know, those guys, and, and once you get into it that long, those guys know what to price their machine at and what it's worth, you know, but you need to be careful because you need to know electric rates and you need to make sure you know and all these things. So 
you know, if you can't afford to set your machine to 14 cents, then set it higher. You know, if it gets rented, it gets rented. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's up to you. Um, I don't know why all these are showing 14 ports, but um, anyway. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, you want to make sure that you are setting these things to the correct. You know, if you have PCIe 13, 16X, you're going to want to be lower than most of these people. Um, if you have PCIe 4.08X, you want to want to be lower. Th this is probably why this guy isn't rented right now. It's because he's got 4.08X, and some people look down on that, that are renting. So he should be down here somewhere. You know, probably a little bit above the 3.0 or a little bit below that guy. So, like, your specs matter too, and also your location. Usually in the U.S., we have really good internet, um, depending on where you're at, but it depends on your internet too. And so de-verified just means that he was verified at one point. The machine is maybe not working so well, had a couple problems. And usually they'll label you de-verified for just a little bit, and then you'll go back to verified. But, um, yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. And from there, you know, you can filter your – I would definitely filter where you're at in, in the world. So if you're in North America like I am, um, you're going to want to be in this price range, you know, it's for somebody starting out. Now, if you're verified, you know, we can uncheck verif un unverified, and you can see, you know, here's a verified machine. Verified machines go for a hell of a lot more, 30 cents an hour, compared to unverified um, at 10 or 14. So, guys, getting verified is a big thing. Keeping your machine uptime is a big thing. Making sure your ma machine is working correctly and not overheating, has the correct amount of power. It all matters. Now, if you're doing multiple GPUs, you know, you can select, um, uh, you can kind of either scroll down, and there's a, I mean, there's a huge menu here. We can scroll down. Here's two 4090s for 45 cents an hour uh, with a pretty decent CPU and stuff. So, like, you know, you, you need to check out where your pricing is on the market. And I, I've always tried to explain this to the people that have messaged me. Make sure you're checking the market. Um... And, you know, when you're rented, if you're making enough to where you feel comfortable and, you know, you're not going to make fucking millions of dollars a day. It's just not how it works. You know, people think this is a get rich quick scheme. It's not. You might pay off your machine in gear if you're lucky, you know, but this is something that if you can keep that machine working good and working correctly and not overheating, um, you can run vast for a very long time. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. Um, but you can see here, actually, this guy has, actually, if you hover, it actually shows you. So here we go. This is actually a good demonstration. So you can see that um, his GPU is set to 14 cents. His disk is set to 0 .001, um, you know, probably just so that people don't, you know, beat the hell out of the disk and it actually has to cost something, which is weird, um, why it's so low. And then it shows you the total price and then the Internet, right? So, um so, yes, and reliability matters a lot. Make sure your reliability is probably 98, 99%. You know, you can always wait to list it until you're at that percentage. If you want to list it at 95 and it gets rented, more power to you. But most people are going to be looking for a higher percentage reliability. And uh, it really doesn't take too long. You know, you can leave that machine on as long as you, you know, have the correct uh, uh, things set to where it, you know, draws basically no power when it's just sitting there. So it's basically idle power. It's very low wattage. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to kind of leave this video here. Super, super uh, short video, nine-minute video or ten-minute video. And um, I'm going to leave it to you guys to kind of leave me some comments. Uh, or comments. Sorry, I always fuck that word up. Um, to let me know if there's something more you want me to go over in a video about this topic. But personally, um, this is very simple, and I don't know why I get so many questions about it. Um, but I'm glad to make you guys a video and kind of help you out. And uh, it's very simple, guys. Check the market. Follow the market. Um, you know, things are getting easier with Vast. Uh, they, they've really made the interface a lot better. And I, I really would just check the market, you know. And if you have a less, you know, let's say there's a guy on here that has this epic, right? This guy should be above the Ryzen 7. He just should, even though this is an X3D, which is pretty good. But, uh, you know, the Epic should be above him, you know, for in, in most scenarios. 
you know, obviously if you were gaming on it, which you're not going to be, but if you were, I guess the 7800, uh, 7800-3D would be better. But, uh, you know, just just check the market and, and follow what people have. You know, somebody else has the same shit you have. You know, unless you unless you are going into this, like, abyss of, uh, you know, quadros or titans or whatever the hell, A100s and stuff, then, then you know, there might be, that would be something maybe you could message me about and say, hey, nobody's got this type of, you know, uh, you know, I don't know, four of these cards with this CPU and I don't know where to set it at. That's something I can help you with. But anyways, guys, my Discord is Frank Gore, capital F, uh, same as the channel name. If you guys need help, you know, please go over there and, and shoot me a DM. Um, I am going to say this before I end the video. Guys, I've helped a ton of people. Um, I will not be helping people anymore unless it's simple advice without being paid. There's too many times where I've spent half of my day helping people, and I don't mind helping people. And this is why I did these videos. But I'm not going to keep helping people for four or five hours straight without being paid. So, you know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, we talk about it, you know, I'm not trying to be money hungry, but um, there's so many times where I've sat here for four or five hours helping people just to say, oh, thanks, you know, I, I can't be wasting my time that long, you know, I'm sorry, I just can't. So I hope you guys can understand that, and don't, don't get me wrong, I'll still give advice, you can still message me on Discord, I can still help you in some sense, like there was a guy that messaged me and said, hey, uh, I got blah, blah, blah system. Um, you know, is it a good system? Should I buy this? You know, and I said, hey, you know, whatever you do with your money is up to you. But yes, it's a very good system. I think it would make uh, some decent money on Vast. And, uh, you know, also, you know, think about if you can upgrade systems too, if you can put more cards in that system later on. So anyway, uh, you know, I'm always uh, up for messages and as I always appreciate you guys. But um, definitely, you know, something to think about, you know, if you guys need help, you know, a, a big help, you know, a lot of help, you know, think about messaging me. But, um, you know, I'm trying not to do that stuff free anymore because, my goodness, I've sat here and wasted my whole day trying to help somebody. And I, and I love the fact that I can help somebody, but I also have things to do in my life, too. So anyways, guys, uh, have a great day. If there's anything else, um, any comments you have or anything else I didn't add. Please feel free to add in the comments, and I usually get back to everybody in the comments. So, all right, guys, have a good one. See ya.